Convocation is now in session. As Chancellor, it is my pleasure to welcome you to our 311th Convocation. Before we proceed with the ceremony, I would like to call upon Professor Emerita Margaret Kello to present Western University's Land Acknowledgement. Western University is situated on the traditional territories of the Anishinaabeg, Haudenosaunee, Lenape, and Attawandaran peoples, who have long-standing relationships to the land and region of southwestern Ontario and the City of London. The local First Nations communities of this area include the Chippewas of the Thames First Nation, Oneida Nation of the Thames, and Muncie Delaware Nation. In the region, there are 11 First Nations communities and a growing Indigenous urban population. Western values the significant historical and contemporary contributions of local and regional First Nations and of all the original peoples of Turtle Island. Miigwech. To all our graduates, first let me say congratulations. You've worked hard to achieve this. Graduation represents a major milestone in your lives. At Convocation, we assemble as a university community to celebrate and recognize your achievements at Western and to wish you every success for the future. Your learning days are far from over. Learning is a lifelong process. Western has not provided you with answers to all questions. At most, we hope that what stays with you is a way of thinking objectively, approaching problems with an open mind, and a healthy respect for new ideas, all tempered with compassion and empathy for the human condition. You are forever a cherished member of this great university, founded more than a century ago. We welcome you into the Western family. Again, congratulations to each and every one of you. Today, we also confer an honorary degree upon Jeff Beatty an acknowledgement of his significant accomplishments as Western's campaign chair for the Be Extraordinary campaign. As a former Londoner and an alumnus of Western's Faculty of Law, we celebrate your commitment to higher education and outstanding achievement in business and leadership. You are a wonderful role model and inspiration for our students in this regard. To present our distinguished candidate, I now call upon Professor Christopher Nichols, Faculty of Law. Jeff Beatty. Visionary leadership and an abiding concern for the public good characterize the legal and business career of Jeff Beatty. Raised in London, Ontario, Jeff Beatty graduated from Western Law School in 1984 and began a distinguished and successful legal career practicing corporate and securities law, ultimately as a partner with the prestigious Toronto law firm of Tory Tory Delorier in Binnington, now Tory's LLP. Departing the private practice of law for the greener pastures of business, he was appointed to the office of President and CEO of the Woodbridge Company Limited, investment holding company for the Thompson family and majority shareholder of Thompson Reuters. In this demanding role, he served with distinction from 1998 until 2012. Today, Jeff Beatty is CEO of Generation Capital and chairman of Canadian venture capital firm Relay Ventures. He also serves as a director of a number of leading public corporations, including General Electric Company and Maple Leaf Foods, Inc. A person of ideas and ideals, his legal and business acumen are complemented by his personal philanthropy. He has demonstrated the vital role of sound, responsible leadership in the boardrooms of our nation's corporations in helping business to contribute to the growth of our country and the well-being of its citizens. And he has modeled the importance of volunteerism, bringing to bear his gifts of insight and sound judgment 
in the service of organizations dedicated to education, to health care, to the arts, and to sport. He has served with distinction on the board of the Toronto International Film Festival, as a trustee of the University Health Network, as a member of the Board of Governors of the Canadian Sports Hall of Fame, and as chair of the External Advisory Board of the School of Public Policy and Governance of the University of Toronto. And of course, he has been an active and much valued volunteer and truly extraordinary ambassador for Western University. He was awarded the 2011 B Business Leadership Award by Western's Faculty of Law, an award which recognizes significant and sustained achievements in business. And since 2008, has deployed his singular talents as chair of Western's imposingly successful Be Extraordinary campaign. A leader of thought, a leader of people, and a leader in the support of worthwhile causes for the improvement of the common good, Jeff Beatty has exemplified the dedication to public service that embodies the finest traditions of outstanding business and legal professionalism. Mr. Chancellor, on behalf of the Vice Chancellor and in the name of the Senate, I ask you to confer the degree of Doctor of Laws, honoris causa, upon Double W. Jeffrey Beatty. By virtue of the authority vested in me as Chancellor, I admit you to the degree of Doctor of Laws, honoris causa. Congratulations, Dr. Beatty. <laughs> On behalf of all assembled here today, I should now like to invite our newest alumnus, Dr. Jeff Beatty, to address convocation. I'm obviously not a hat guy. <laughs> well, good morning and welcome, everyone. It's truly an honor to be standing here with the opportunity to address convocation. Knowing firsthand the importance of convocation, I did seek some guidance on how to pr approach today's comments, and the best advice by far came from my daughters, who said, Dad, please don't try to be funny or smart. Just be yourself. So here, so here I go. Western is at the foundation of much of my professional and personal life. And I'm truly grateful to have had the opportunity to spend five years at this great institution, and many more since then with friends and faculty from Western. I hope you also know it's an honor to be sitting where you are. The fact that you are here means you have acquired an advantage. You have established yourself with the privilege of a degree from a great university. Today, I'd like to ask you to consider what you might do with that advantage and the responsibility that comes with that privilege. The question I would like you to ask yourself is what makes a successful life? Or, perhaps more directly, how will you measure your success? The answer to that question, if asked properly and thoughtfully, can determine your path and help steer you on the right course and I believe I'll allow you to achieve the ultimate success, and that is to live your life, the life you were meant to live. To begin, I'm going to let you in on a secret. People who are successful at school, or for that matter, in their careers, are not assured success in their life. We, and by that I mean society, spend many years encouraging you to measure your life in grades and awards and soon in salaries and bonuses and promotions. 
but we don't teach you to measure your life in moments. Moments of quiet happiness, in the accomplishment of others, or in the number of obstacles or challenges you are able to overcome. You've spent most of your young lives learning and being rewarded for the idea that there's a right answer, a best answer, a truth that will guide you. And now, here you are about to be unleashed into the world, and the fact is, there isn't a right answer. There isn't one truth. There are many paths, and you won't necessarily know if you're on the right one until you get out there and try and are prepared to fail. This is how real life works. The good news is that you've been given a great education, and a great education comes with one very important piece of information. From time to time, you might be wrong. That notion, which sounds so simple, is actually profound and is the basis of wisdom. I might be wrong. This statement alone will make you smarter, wiser, and I assure you, also happier. To cope with the challenges ahead of you, I urge you towards flexibility, towards an essential open-mindedness, and towards an awareness that there is always something you don't know, something you can't control, and something you can't change. Use your doubt and uncertainty to both keep you humble and to fuel your ambition. Use your flexibility and open-mindedness to put yourself on a track where good things can happen. To support this flexibility and to help you measure your own success, there are four things I want to stress here today. Call it a framework for your future. First, you need to trust yourself and you need to doubt yourself. That may seem like a contradiction, but of course it's not. The most successful people you will ever meet trust who they are and what they believe and yet are constantly questioning themselves. Are they right? Are their strongly held views correct? Are there choices they just don't see? A willingness to question a closely held belief has shaped the evolution of human knowledge for centuries. If you firmly believe something, I would urge you to be willing to question it. That's how knowledge evolves. It's how new ideas are permitted the air they need to breathe. It's how life changes. Second, make sure your plans don't get in the way of what you really want. You are on a path, and it's a good one or you wouldn't be sitting here today. But those plans shouldn't obscure what you actually think and feel about what you're doing. It's one thing to pursue your goal, get a university degree, become a scientist, start your own venture. Whatever it is, I encourage you to follow it. But don't forget to check in along the way on what really matters. Don't pursue a goal for the wrong reasons. And that may mean something very different to each and every one of you. But make sure you know what your motivation is, what you want, and why you want it. And remember, that may change, but don't forget to check in. I can tell you that in my life, not having a rigid plan has led to my best successes. Being open-minded to what might happen next, rather than trying to control it, has resulted in some of the most interesting twists and turns. In fact, I could not have imagined when I was sitting where you are today, my life or the world as it has unfolded. Third, resilience is mandatory. Letting yourself go with the flow does not mean letting yourself give up or retreat when you hit hard moments. There is going to be chaos. You are going to experience loss, sadness, and catastrophe, at least in your eyes. You're going to feel at times that you have absolutely no control and that everything around you is in a state of upheaval. How you respond in these moments will make all the difference in how your life unfolds. There is a truism that human beings were not simply created for happiness, but for a deeper meaning. 
And that deeper meaning has more to do with developing character in the face of suffering or change than mere happiness. And hand in hand with resilience is hard work. The two are intertwined. There are no shortcuts. It has been said that opportunities are usually disguised as hard work, so most people don't recognize them. Be one of the ones that recognize opportunity. And lastly, be a learner and a listener. The beautiful thing about learning is that nobody can take it away from you. In this life, you will have things taken from you. But that knowledge that you compile throughout the course of your journey is yours and yours alone. I am a huge hoarder of knowledge and proud of it. Some of the world's most successful people spend a significant part of their day learning. Learning is essentially about feeding your natural curiosity. And feeding your curiosity feels good because it's how our brains work. And remember, that curiosity also contains humility. The fact that you don't have all the answers will give you your perspective and your confidence about who you are and what you think. You're going to cross paths with some people in your life, some wise people, people who know more than you do, have more experience than you, have greater insights. Truly listening to what they have to say will be pivotal to your growth. You don't necessarily have to agree with them. I have disagreed with plenty of people I've respected. But listening, taking others' opinions and ideas into consideration, allowing them to interact with your own, this is the foundation of thoughtfulness. As Einstein said, we cannot solve our problems with the same thinking that created them. Your life won't unfold as you expect, but let me assure you that the detours are the very best parts. So don't worry too much about how your path zigs and zags. But I do urge you to understand the difference between simply living for today and laying the foundation for a successful life. One of the most surprising things about people who aspire to have successful careers is that while they often think of their working lives thoughtfully and with a long view, they all too often take a short-term approach when it comes to their personal happiness. In other words, all the theory they apply to their careers is ignored when it comes to their personal choices. Focusing on the long term allows you to accept setbacks and sacrifices along the way, which allows you to keep the important elements of life in mind. What will you do with your time? Where will you spend it? And perhaps most importantly, whom will you spend it with? Be thoughtful when it comes to these choices. Today is a day of accomplishment for all of you. It's a milestone. So congratulate yourselves and accept with gratitude the congratulations to the people who helped you get here. And then start your new journey. Don't figure everything out. Don't hope to get comfortable. There are no answers that anyone can give you, only your answers. There are, is no one path to follow only your path. There is no wisdom from others that is perfectly right for you, just the knowledge you will each gather as you grow and make a life which will become your life. As I said earlier, the fact that you're sitting here today means you have been given an advantage. So you also have a responsibility. And as I hope you'll come to know, the things you feel responsible for will be the things you value the most. And they will also be the things that reflect the most important parts of you back to you. If it feels like a burden, chances are it's worthwhile. How you act in everyday life will be a key to thriving in that life. Stay engaged. Look up and look around and observe and retain what you see. The world is waiting for you and it's an amazing place. And the good news is we can all participate. And remember, 
If it's worth a damn, it might be hard. But the best things in life are hard. They're hard to get, they're hard to grow, they're hard to keep. Pay attention to the hard things. That's where your life will happen. And I hope for each and every one of you, it's where you will live and find your success. Thank you very much for the honor of speaking to you this morning. Thank you very much, Jeff, for your thoughtful and inspiring address, and also for sharing your insights and wisdom with our graduates. You have set an example for future graduates as a business leader. For Western, as chair of our extraordinary campaign, you have helped us to lay the foundation for a better future by sharing your strategic vision for the university and by helping us to raise funds to support many worthy projects on our campus. We are grateful to you for your lifelong commitment and for your unwavering support for Western. Distinguished guests, please join me in congratulating Western's newest honorary Doctor of Laws, Dr. Jeff Beattie. I take pleasure in asking the Vice Chancellor to present to convocation our newly appointed Professor Emeritus. Thank you, Mr. Chancellor. The designation of Professor Emeritus is an honorary title which recognizes long and distinguished academic service. Will Professor Doug Hazelwood please step forward? Professor Hazelwood received his PhD from Western in 1988 in the field of experimental social psychology. After completing a postdoctoral fellowship and adjunct professorship at New York University, he returned to Western, where he has been a faculty member for 26 years. During his career at Western, Professor Hazelwood has taught more than 10,000 students in courses such as applications of psychology, social psychology, and health psychology, as well as serving as a mentor for the Western Undergraduate Psychology Journal, which publishes peer-reviewed student research articles. His teaching has been recognized by University Student Council and the Undergraduate Western Psychology Association. Mr. Chancellor, may I present Professor Emeritus Dog Hazelwood. Will the candidates for degrees, diplomas, and certificates please rise? <clears throat> Mr. Chancellor, I'm very much honored to present to you the candidates who have successfully completed their academic programs at Western. I ask you to admit them to the degrees, diplomas, and certificates for which they have been recommended by the Senate of our university. Under the authority vested in me by the Senate, you will be admitted to the degrees, diplomas, and certificates as shall be announced by the public orators. Thank you, Mr. Chancellor. Will the graduating students please sit. Mr. Chancellor, graduating students, colleagues, distinguished guests, convocation is the single most important time of celebration in the life of the university. Today we honor those graduating students who through determination, hard work, and intelligence have met the demanding standards of a Western degree. Today is also a proud day for all of us associated with Western, including our Board of Governors and Senate, our faculty, our staff, and our friends in the community. It is wonderful to see so many members of our 
community of learning who have taken the time to join us and celebrate this important day in the lives of our graduates and in the life of the university. Today, those of you crossing the platform join a special group known as Western Alumni that numbers more than 293,000 alumni living in over 150 different countries around the world. And today we are pleased to have Ms. Fiona Cuddy representing our Alumni Association and I'd ask her to please stand and be recognized. <clears throat> Western's Board of Governors is charged with responsibility for the overall governance of this institution. Today we have with us Dr. Carol Stevenson representing our Board of Governors and I'll ask her to please stand and be recognized. <clears throat> I'd also like to acknowledge and thank the parents, spouses, partners, children, relatives, and friends of our graduating students who are here with us today. This celebration would not have been possible without your lobbying support. I ask our graduating class to rise once again, turn around, face your family and friends, and give them a warm round of applause for supporting your journey. Now let me congratulate once again the remarkable students who are graduating with Western degrees today. Today you become partners in outstanding academic achievements of the University of Western Ontario. My warmest wishes to each and every one of you. We're going to proceed with the granting of degrees and diplomas. Before we do so, I have two special requests for those of you in the audience. First. As a courtesy to all graduates and their families, please hold your applause and other forms of expressions of joy until the public auditors signal when applause is appropriate. We take pride in this special ceremony and we request your cooperation. So what we try to do is we try to recognize and applaud our graduates in batches. So please wait for the signal from the public auditor, which will come from uh, my left side of the stage. So this will ensure that each graduate's name will be heard. And each of our graduate is a special graduate. We want their names to be heard. Second, we know that photographs are important for graduates, their families, and friends. As you heard before the ceremony began, we are pleased to provide each graduate with a photo of this special occasion. We ask that you remain in your seats throughout the ceremony, and of course, please feel free to take pictures from there. I now call on the public auditors to introduce the candidates for degrees. Mr. Chancellor, the following are candidates from the Faculty of Social Science for the degree Bachelor of Management and Organizational Studies Honors Program. Aisha. Ruwa Al-Sheikh Yassin. 
Sylvia Antonovich. Natasha Rose Asdir. Jia Yuan Bao. Rachel Christina Battaglia. First one. Sashank Bat. Thomas Joseph Nick Brazil. Lordassa Esther Karshena Charles. <laughs> Jia Yu Chen. Si Ting Chen. Xuanzi Chen. Darren Joseph Gary Chin. Janice Hu Ching Chong. Kenneth Michael Chow. Ru Chi Chu. Terrell Robert Da Costa. Chantal Nicole Alvis Dennis. Lorenzo Di Gregorio, Megan Dunn, Katie Dutton. Chelsea Fang, Mitchell Grant Faskin, Nicola Golich. Yun Gu, Jingwen Guo, Daniel Robert Hatt. Ryan Hunter Henderson, Haley Virginia Hess. Zenon Zayat Ho. Clarice Amanda Hogan. Kate Marion Holmes, gold medalist. Wen Kian Hu. Shi Han Huang, Stefan Ilinchic, Yat Ze Yo.
Bethany Jansen, <laughs> Wei Yi Jia, Yi Tong Jiao. Yi Chao Jing, Min Hao Kang, Jordan Peter Karras. Alexandra Marie Kelly, Tanner Jarrett Kelly, Garrett Scott Kennedy, Adam Samuel Kirschenblatt. Aaron Nicole Kyle, Zachary Ty Lamb, Lindsay Langevin, Shelly Shimeng Li, Chun Yang Li. Wan Ting Li, Wei Jia Li, Zheng Zheng Li, gold medalist. Li Lin, Zi Hang Liu, Zheng Yuan Liu. Patrick Ludeman, Donald Matthew McKenzie, Patrick Stephen Mayer, Ariana Mariella, Margaret Amy Massar. David Salvatore Massara. Joel Thor Matson, Mackenzie Matthews, Jordan Ross McCurdy. Kelsey McIver, Ryan McQueen, Rui Miyake, Rachel Mortbeet, Eric Moorman, Huai Yuan Mu,
Janani Nagasivakumaran, Sean David O'Donnell, gold medalist, Jordan Payette, Mitch Stewart Persaud, Patrick Pino, gold medalist, Hans Kumar Plussel, Jessica Joanne Pulido, gold medalist. Erica Pulling, Emily Elizabeth Rieger, Tyler Dean Lee Robinson, Lucy Sylvia Knight Schaefer. Reed Hamilton Schultz. Scott Cedrin. Bianca Satino. Chunshi Sha. Mario Shahada, Xiao Meng Shen, Meng Shi, Madison Jane Shields. Joshua Kenji Smith, Marise Martine Smith, Raphael Song, Lee Harrison Mitchell Starr, Ming Lu Su. Bing Yao Sun, Chang Sun, He Yuan Sun, Lu Yu Sun, Janelle Tam, Yi Shin Tang. Natalie Ruth Tobe, Catherine Siofas, Charles Tufton, Adrienne Lily Van, Dai Ming Wang, Dan Lei Wang. Gold medalist. Guo 
Guo Chao Wang, Yu Tang Wang, Zihan Wang. Mark Bruce Watson. Matthew Wiwatowski, gold medalist. Hui Ku Yi Shi. Yang Kai Wu. Ting Yang. L Lena Ye. Suhan Yu. Yusha Yuan. Jianning Zhang. Ji Yu Zhang, Liang Ge Zhao, Shen Kun Zhao. Tian Tian Zhao, Xiao Di Zhao, gold medalist. Ying Tong Zheng. Lu Yi Zhou, Wei Cheng Zhou, Yi Tong Zhou. Thanks, that was great. Mr. Chancellor, the following are candidates for the degree Bachelor of Management and Organizational Studies. Morgan Alford, Tamar Ibrahim Alhabash, Mahnur Ali, Christopher Liam On Jung Armstrong, Emily Bala, Giacomo Joseph, Joseph Baroni, Christopher Bean, Varun Bector. Taylor Balanco. Rachel Bedulka, Anne Sophie Balduk, Devin Harris Bourbonnet. Trevor Buchan, Jessica Lee Buckingham, Christian Peter Bolza. Hi. 
Caitlin Burnett, Christopher Caminiti, Daniel Campbell. Jordan Alexander Chescolini, Chelsea Sin Ying Chan, Peter Jung So Chang. Calvin Chon Ting Chow, Si Hei Chow, Ao Chen. Evan Tyler Chen, Hua Chen, Chong Chen. Shuran Chen, Sihua Chen, Madeline Chisholm. Zhen Yi Chu, Anthony Chung, Camille. Aaron Chung. Sydney Elizabeth Cobbled, Keenan Jarrett Coombs, Rachel Cooper. Alexander Kenneth Cox, Yang Q, Jinan Q. Meng Chi Dai, Gabriel Janet Margaret Davis, Chandler Doan. Spencer Michael Drury, Yuting Duong, Trami Nguyen Duong. Rahul Dutta, Daniel Eisner. Thomas James Ellsworth Griffin. Philippe Evans, Sanel Thaikovich, Jeremy Fauché. Junxiao Feng, Joshua Frank, 
Alexander Sinclair Fregan. Yan Ran Fu, Rachel Aaron Fuhrer, gold medalist, Jin Jin Gao. Talha Ganatra, Mitchell Kevin Garlic. Chelsea Carolyn Gazzola. Lauren Gentil, Emmanuel Gerasim, Ramtin Gargalzo. Quinn Alexis Gibson, Michael Girolametto Prozen, Michael Ezat Goldie. Matthew Golfman, Dayon Grahovac. Carolyn Amanda Greco. Adam Green, Menchi Gu, Xiang Guo. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a very large degree group, and I sense a certain amount of built-up enthusiasm. Let's take a break, have a round of applause for those who've crossed the stage already. Shai <laughs> Guo. Melanie Haddon, Jacob Stephan Holliday. Spencer Hamilton, Dong Ying Hang, Caden Walton Hill. Sheng Wa Hong, Ming Zhuan Hu, Yi Hu. Ying Hu Hu, Xing Huang, Shuang Shang Huang. Yi Ting Huang, Adam Fraser Huckle, Matthew Huisman. Jackson Hulbert, Jessica Ip, Sula Jang.
Natasha Jasinski, Rimsha Javed, Kishan Jiang. Pongji Jin, Zhongyi Jin, Laura Jones. Mikhail Angelo Auza Yuntila, Mahin Sara Kalsi, Faraz Karmali. Foti Fau Kasem Fail Bulsuk, Ridi Kohoka, Jisuk Kim. Seong Hyun Kim. Tai Gyun Kim Luan Kodhima. Jing Yi Kong, Zeru Kong, Ju Yong Kuang. Shanung Jion, Diane Jackie Suno Labuga, Taylor Lasoto. Jennifer May Lavery, Emma Kate Lear, C. Wan Lee. Randy Nicole Lewis, Jianpei Li, Jiaxi Li. Jingwen Li, Mian Xiao Li. Meng Yao Li. Robin Jin Yu Li, Shiru Li, Jinji Li. Yu Hao Li, Xiafu Li, Zhu Shi Ji Liang. Harman Deep Lit, Andy Liu, Jin Yang Liu.
Yushen Liu, Zhongji Liu, Xavier Lor. Xinyi Lu, Kai Hin Luk, Mei Ting Lu. Shui Chin Lu, Christina Lee, Tian Yu Ma. This is a very large group, and uh, I know you're all very proud of our graduates, so let's take a moment to uh, express our appreciation for the grads who've already passed. John McCauley, Crystal Carmen Mack, Mahmoud Makluf. J. Charles Nanis, Lu Yu Mao, Yu Mao. Andrea Christina Martino, Alexander Cameron McDonald, Alexander John McDonald. <laughs> Katrina Irene McGregor, Diana Whitney McLean, Troy Kareem McLeod. Troy Patrick McCurry, Katrina Lori Milanovic, Charmaine Zeman Muk. Dylan Morrison, Yustaf Nakara, Jeremy Newfield. Puk Ho Tu Nagoyan, Trevor Mark Noskovich, Adrian Aiden David O'Brien. Sorry, Aiden. Zeng Yan Pan, Timothy Greg Pere, Sarah Parsons. Quinn Peng, Isabella Lan Liana Pepe, and Jacob Peplinski. <laughs> Kyla Elizabeth Petty, Ailing P, Justin Quach.
Ting Ting Rao, Ali Razivi, Alexandra Rustic. Tally Riddlevich, Luke, Lucas Francis Sardella, Dima Chateau. Adil Shazad, Zeheng Shao, Shirel Shao. Joshua Zane Schechter, Ziquan Shen, Destiny Sherman. Defei Shu, Zofan Shu, Blair Simpkins. Marissa Smith, Sandy Smith, and Dyra Sony awarded posthumously. That's his mom, or her mom, rather. Vikram Siri Vassan, Christopher Phillips Still, Manchu Su. <clears throat> Bing Shan Soon, Chao Quin Soon, Yu Soon. Sean Syed, Brianne Tai, and Natalie Takuchi. Justin Tanadar, Runson Tang, Mike Taylor. Trevor Thompson, Nash Christopher Thornton, Hujin Tong. Zoe Tunis, Allison Candace Hsu, and Jeffrey Paul Vanderkoll. <laughs> Lucas Gage Van Adder, Lauren E. Vitelli, Jessica Vitrilli, Vitritti. <laughs> 
We're proud of every single one of our graduates and each one would like to hear their name called. So please confine your enthusiasm. Maybe we could just have a quick break now. Jacinda Tran Vo, Evan Paul Walker, Andy Wang. Jay Wang, Chen Wang, Jin Chen Wang. Lee Wang, Lingzi Wang, Mei Kui Wang. Tian Wang, Yuan Wang, Yambo Wang. Zhu Wen Wang, Zoe Wang, Ya Wen. Shauna Marie Wisnuk, Austin Wu, Jian Wu. Wan Ru Wu, Ying Yuan Wu, Yan Zun Wu. Wen Zhao, Yun Zi, she rather, Sam Xiong. Jing Yi Shu, Lei Ying Shu, Ming Yuan Shu. Yi Yang Shu, Zi Yang, Dai Wei Yin. Meg Wan Yu, Shemin Yu, Malcolm Young. Asia Zaman, Joseph Bradley Zanting, Shan Zeng.
Chen Zhang, Hu Yan Zhang, Jining Zhang. Jingwei Zhang, Quifeng Zhang, and Tianzi Zhang. Sing Yan Sang, Yu Yan Sang, Zik Ha Chao Zang. Ji Ching Zang, Hai Zhao, Wei Zhao. Wanki Zhao, Ningning Zhao, and Zanru Zhao. Da Wei Zhu, Hai Zhu, Yi Hao Jason Zhu. Ying Zhu, Yangtze Zhu, Yi Hui Zhu. In the name of the Senate, I grant to the Registrar the authority to confer degrees, diplomas, and certificates to those candidates whose names appear in the official program but who are not present today. At this time, I invite Ms. Fiona Cuddy, representing our Alumni Association, to say a few words. Thank you. My fellow graduates, it is my great honor on behalf of Western's Alumni Association to congratulate you and welcome you. You have worked hard to complete your studies and exams, and today you received your well-earned degrees. Western, our faculties, and affiliated university colleges are very proud of its world-class standing, and we know you share that pride as graduates of our undergraduate and graduate programs. Now all of you join our growing global community of Western alumni. We are all united by the Western experience, our cherished memories of our times here, particularly of the knowledge and the friendships gained. You'll find your Western experience continues as alumni, and I encourage you to remain purple and proud by participating actively as alumni, cultivating the strength and global reputation of, all, of our alma mater. It is my pleasure to invite you and your guests to attend a reception in your honor to be held in the UCC Mustang Lounge immediately following convocation where re refreshments will be served and where you will receive your 2018 class pin. To you, your friends and families, enjoy and embrace the tributes that you so richly deserve today and remember, wherever life takes you, Western will always be home. Thank you. <laughs>
Before closing convocation, I wish to express my appreciation to all who have contributed to the success of the day. In particular, and on your behalf as well, I want to thank the University of Western Ontario Convocation Brass for their magnificent performance and their director, Professor James Mackay. May I request that the audience remain at their seats while the academic procession leaves the hall. Convocation is now adjourned. Thank you.